This is Matt Russell, and welcome to the Daily Effects Forum. So welcome to the Daily FX Forum Highlights video for December 9th. Just scanning through the forums tonight here on the scalping and intraday trading thread. Here's a post by Sean Hyman that I wanted to highlight um, showing here. I just want to read it. By the way, for you scalpers out there, here are a couple of crucial supports to watch for pound dollar and pound yen could provide a momentum breakout if these supports fail. And one of the things that I wanted to highlight and mention at this point is the overall theme that Sean is speaking about here, and that is using longer term charts, more specifically longer term support and resistance levels to aid you with your short-term trading. There's absolutely nothing wrong with that. Uh, one of the biggest mistakes I see newer traders make or scalpers make is that they might only be looking at the one-minute chart. And there's obviously a whole other universe to be paying attention to. And one of the things that I would suggest is what Sean speaks about here is using longer-term levels, um, you know, daily levels, maybe four-hour levels or hourly levels to assist you or aid you with your short-term trading. And you can trade around those levels as prices come down and reach them so the argument might be but you know maybe prices are too far away with a specific pair so what I would suggest is monitoring a lot of pairs maybe 10 to 15 pairs looking for those longer term levels and then again waiting for prices to come down towards those levels and then scalping off those areas the next chart that I wanted to highlight by John Rivera speaking about the Kiwi dollar here and the potential for raising interest rates uh, for the for in, in New Zealand and he's showing the support off the 100 SMA and also a shorter term resistance line. And it's good to keep these charts up, especially uh, if, if the Kiwi is showing a little bit of strength uh, because possibly, um, you know, if you've missed, let's say, the Euro dollar train, if you missed a good entry, there could be other entries and other pairs that are, ba you know, based on dollar strength as well. And, and the Kiwi could be one of those. And scrolling down here to Brad 1199, he's just updating us um, on the Euro dollar trade that he posted just a few, just a few days back here. He was spot on in terms of entering the this trade as soon as the break beneath the longer term support line did occur and he's actually looking for prices to hit about 145.75. And at this point, I just wanted to highlight uh, the trade that I've been mentioning for the past uh, three reports now. Again, that's short the, short the euro off the back test of the previous support line, which did act as resistance. I'm still in this trade. And as Brad was mentioning about the 45.75 area, and I might look to take profits maybe on a, on a new, on a break beneath these lows here, maybe looking at about the 46.50 to about 46.25 area. And as Brad mentioned in his post, at that point, if we do get a rally, we might look uh, to re-enter th this short trade. I, I Again, I wouldn't look for any long trades, um, even if I do expect the pair to bounce, uh, because it, it's never a good idea to kind of flip like that, because um, personally, I'm not that smart, and I don't think anybody else should try to be that smart in terms of calculating all these, you know, the little wiggles of the market. The trade is short, and looking for, you know, favorable risk-reward entries um, that present themselves in, in the short direction. Again, my name is Matt Russell. Thanks for listening, and please stay tuned for a preview. I want to take this opportunity to formally welcome you all to the Daily FX. Forums. I want to go through the process of how I personally access the forums and how maybe you at home, if you want to access the forums in the future, might do so. The first thing you would do is go to www.dailyfx.com and that will bring up, obviously, dailyfx.com. And usually there on the upper right hand corner, I'll go ahead and click on where it says forum and that will bring up the first page of the forums. And this this view, I personally don't use this view, but this view actually shows you uh, the most recent posts on all the threads within the different sections and a little detail about those posts. So uh, you can read through and see if there's something, you know, catches your interest. Uh, but personally, I go ahead and just click on forums and, and view them in the more traditional sense. Now, these are different threads within the forum. There's a section on education, such as Daily FX course instructor tips, which would be good for newer traders. And then for more advanced traders, and I just want to go ahead, you know, personally, the way I use the forums is I would go through the individual threads, uh, just looking for trade ideas, maybe looking at charts, looking at certain lines that maybe I didn't put up on my chart, but, but another trader might have put up on their chart. Uh, I, I I tend to, you know, shy away from using direct trade recommendations from other forum members, but it, it helps me to um, sort of even out my analysis, make sure that I'm that I'm seeing things, uh, you know, with a with the right mind in terms of, you know, I might be missing stuff that other traders can see, and that that's, you know, my personal way of using the forum. You know, every trader is going to be a little bit different in how they use it. So, if you want to ask questions, if you want to become an active participant of the members, you would have to go ahead and register. So that's what I'm going to go through now is the registration process. 
So assuming you're brand new to the forms or maybe you've been here a few times and you're not really sure how it works, so I just want to walk through again uh, the registration process. Uh, this would be the front page uh, where, where you would access or the previous page. You'd have the same little box here on the left hand side. Obviously, my username and password are already filled out here, but assuming you're a new member, you would click on where it says register and that will bring up the registration page. If you give me one moment here while my browser loads. And actually first uh, we're going to have uh, some terms of service uh, and daily effects form rules. I do suggest reading through the, the form rules. Um, obviously, you know, profanity and spam and things like that are not allowed, uh, but it also gives you insight on, you know, how to act, how to use the forum and how different traders can use it, uh, you know, in terms of their individual needs. So you would go down to the bottom there, you'd click on where it says, I have read all the rules, and then you would go ahead to the register, uh, the, the formal registration page, and that will bring up here and you can go ahead and select the username and how about we'll use 4x and that name is already in use uh, so maybe add a few more x's there um, again it really you know your, your individual username is up to you and you go ahead and fill in your password your email address now the most difficult aspect of registration for the daily FX forms will be figuring figuring out these letters uh, in the box here now I'm a semi intelligent person uh, but I have a very difficult time figuring out which letters and numbers to use now there is there is a reason uh, for this madness uh, it helps with security uh, but I would suggest just going going ahead and keep on clicking that refresh image until something comes through that you can actually identify and see uh, then you can go ahead and enter your birthday but you can decide whether or not uh, to to display that to other form members and then also if you were referred by somebody you can enter that information there the time zone that should default to your computer but you should you know double check and make sure and then you can opt in uh, and I would get, you know suggest opting in for these emails in terms if the administrators want to go ahead and send you some notices about the form and then you would complete registration uh, now what happens is they would send you an email uh, to the email address that you put up here and that email will include a link and all you would have to do is go ahead and click on that link and that link will bring you inside the form and you would now be a member of the daily effects forms again this is matt russell thanks for listening